Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fantastic tonight. How are you doing, man? I'm doing all right. I can't believe that we've like we're three away. This one, and then two more after this, before ending the base set of medieval. I just saw something on social media too. Somebody's like, "When are they gonna release the Crusades?" And I said, "Hey, I'm I'm right there with you. I'm waiting for it. It certainly has been quick." Faster than I expected. Tonight, we have come to the end of the Lazic War in 555, of course. We'll be focusing on the Battle of Onagurus. And if ever we had challenging names, tonight is it. We have all sorts of fun, multisyllabic names to pronounce. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring the tone down. Very sad right now. I know it's going to be. Very disheartening for you, but Mir Miro is no more. Oh no. He has ceased to be. He has run down the curtain and joined the choir invisible, as it were. But take heart, we have a new Sassanid general who has been appointed as the head of all the field armies, and he goes by the name of Nachoragon, or if you're from around here, Nacho Reagan, I guess. So. Let's talk a little bit about... <laughs> it is. It's Nacho Reagan. <laughs> it's Nacho Reagan. Let's talk about the Battle of Onagurus tonight. Nachoragon was the appointed commander of the Sassanid army and then marched to attack these Byzantines that were laying siege to the Sassanid garrison in the city of Onagurus. The Byzantine generals Rusticus and Buzis, this is the same Buzis that we met in the uh, Iberian War, learned of Nachoragon's relief column and dispatched De Bragasus and Usigardus, who we see here, two barbarian officers to intercept him. The rest of the army surrounded the walls of Onagurus and made an assault against the city gates. Dabragasus and Usigardus attacked the Sassanid relief force and initially made pretty good progress. Nachoragon soon realized that this was not the main Byzantine army and counterattacked successfully. The Byzantine survivors did not stop when they reached the main army, but disrupted it as it stampeded through. Seeing just what was happening, the Sassanids in the city rushed out to join the fight. The fleeing Byzantines were trapped between the oncoming Sassanids and the Catharus River. Buzis bravely turned his troops around and held off this onslaught, allowing many Byzantine soldiers to escape. His action prevented an outright defeat from becoming a disaster. And with that, I turn it over to you, good sir, for a review of our War Council. So, opening up the War Council tonight, looks like the Sassanids, which Patrick will be taking command of first with Nacho Reagan, will have five command cards, three Inspired Action Tokens, and he'll get to move first as the Byzantines under Rusticus and Buzes. So I'll have five command cards and three Inspired Action Tokens, so it will be nice and even. We're playing to seven Victory Painters tonight. As the Byzantine player, you'll gain one Victory Banner for each gate that is stormed and opened. Units inside the city walls may ignore one flag. And the Catharus River is fordable. So why don't we review how one storms a gate? Have fun storming the castle. Let's do that. Storming gates. I've got it open here. Why don't you walk us through it? The block must be adjacent to the gate. Roll two dice against the gate. A unit with no attached leader will open the gate when one or more swords are rolled. A unit with an attached leader will open the gate when one or more swords or leader symbols are rolled. Once a gate is successfully moved, remove that city gate tile from the battlefield. The unit that opened the gate may momentum advance into the hex, but may not bonus close combat. A friendly unit occupying a city gate may at be attacked. If the friendly unit is eliminated or retreats from the gate hex, the attacking unit may momentum advance into the hex, but may not bonus close combat. Remove the city gate tile from the battlefield. I think what they're telling us there is there's all this boiling oil still all over the ground, and that kind of precludes you from attacking again, if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Well, good. They've kind of thrown a little bit of everything for us. We got hills, we got gates, we got castle walls, we got fordable rivers, which we've seen. And we're seven banners again, so you can tell we're picking up speed towards the end of the module. Let me open up my card window here and draw my five cards. And I have them. I have mine. Oh dear. Well, allow me to wish you good luck. Why, thank you. With that handful of first strikes that I've seen the last couple of weeks. Yes, well, considering all my units are on the left flank, I have a paucity of cards to order them about. Did you just say paucity? Yes. I wish I had your vocabulary. Perhaps if I went to the library, I might get more gooder words. All right, let's start. Let's do a leadership any section here. Leadership any section. And it is uh, two adjacent to linked hexes. So we're going to do this. We'll move this whole unit as a group. One, two, and because it's a, I'm going to be spending a token for a mounted charge, that super heavy can go one more. And we'll do that. Oh dear. Well, you know, got to come out swinging. It's probably going to end in folly, but got to try. Those guys are on a hill. They're on a hill, yep. Those guys are not. Yep. Okay. But I am on a hill on the other one, so it's all going to be about the same. Okay, so let's start with this right here. We're going to get three dice, uh, because it's two up the hill, but I get one for the mounted charge. I have leadership, so I'm going to do three dice plus leader. And we get a hit. Huzzah! Let's see how Deborah Gazes goes. He's fine. All right, so I'll be going two downhill. A hit and a retreat. Okay, we'll stand on that. And I think we'll concentrate our effort here on Deborah Gazes. So we'll also attack him again. Two dice downhill, plus one, is three, plus leader. Eh, just a leader hit. But my fortunes are the same because the die roller doesn't ever do that. And one hit to you. One hit to me. Okay. There we go. Uh, nothing for the super heavy to go. So I will draw back up and I will turn it to you, sir. Well, since that's all I have, I'll continue this battle on the right flank. One of those two units to battle back. And I'll start with Usagardus here. And he will target. So I will go two dice uphill. What would you like to do? I will evade that. All right. Here we go, two dice. All right. And going after that medium, would it like to evade as well? It would. Two dice there. Oh, to Hit no avail. Way out. I will counterattack that. So two on the left. Yes. I'll bring these two. I will just attack downhill first with this unnamed leader. So it will be two dice plus leader bows. Getting a hit. And a leader check. He's okay. Hey, okay. two dice back at you. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think, yes, we, uh, we will take that other retreat. Go back there. And then finally, the mediums will attack. 
So it will just be two dice up the hill plus leader. Scoring a kill. Leadership check. He's okay. I think Prudence says I will not advance in battle again, so we are just done. Order of three units on my right. All the units I have, those two. So they will move one, two, three. I'm shocked. Shocked am I. I am glad I'm sitting down for my knees would give out in surprise. All right. Attacking those mediums with four dice. They will evade. Well evaded. Attack the heavy. That will. This time I will use a card for a mounted charge. It will be these... These three. Let's step up. Let's start with this one first. So we're going to get six dice from super heavy to super heavy. Plus leader. That's three. Ouch. And leader check. Oh, wrong symbol. Four dice back. Oh. <laughs> oh. Three. And leader check. Oof. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now we'll do the medium here. On the same target, it will be four dice plus leader. And kill. Need to check. He's okay. Uh, they will advance and move one to take the hill. And double time. I haven't seen that card in a dog's age. So, double timing. Five units. Those five. One, two, one, two. Not my poor walls. First we'll attack with the mediums up here. Targeting the wall. Rolling two dice. Looking for a sword. Nothing. Then we'll attack here. Looking for a sword or a leader. Oh! A gate has been stormed. We've been breached. Oh. You may momentum that? advance, but cannot attack again. I guess it was only a matter of time. I think it's time to send up the Cry Havoc. I got five command cards. What do I get? Okay, lead dealer's choice, a heavy. Okay, we'll do two, three. So the heavy will go. I don't know what your choice is going to be. Two. And then uh, here and here. Uh -huh. And then the light bow. We'll just send a volley to our auxilia there on the wing. Getting a hit. Do medium bow cavalry first against your heavy. So three plus leader. Ooh! Ooh. We've got your number, sir. Here's the one die for the cavalry. And if, if I do, then yeah. Okay, so I would wipe it out. Alright, and boozes check. One die. He's fine. Yeah. Two in the center. Being my 
my two leaders. I don't know, this is gonna be rough. All my heavy hitters are taken already taken out of the game. Oh, and shuffle the command deck. Well, we both get a command point or a cry havoc point. Let's do forward. Sally forth from the city walls to do battle. Perhaps. Perhaps. Six. Start with a got some arrow fire at your leader here. So we'll start with this one. Target Usagardus with one die. Nothing. The one from this guy. It's three X's away. Nothing. Um let's try one from the light bow. Nothing. Yeah, no streaks. No streaks. All right. Uh, let's go with attack boozes here with two dice plus leader. Send him fleeing. So, yeah, he's just off map, safe. Yep. Okay. He's safe there in the margin. Yep. Three dice plus leader. Just a retreat. And we will advance and battle again. This time two, two dice, now. Two dice yeah. into the river, plus leader. And two hits. Okay. Uh, I believe that is some total of everything. Leadership any section. Those four. I will foot onslaught. Attack. I'll go after your auxilia first with two dice. Oh, three dice, actually, because of the onslaught. There's a hit. And we will give you back two dice plus leader. Also a hit. This die roller's killing me, man. All right, going after that medium cavalry now with my auxilia. We have three dice. Now with leader bonus. Okay. One hit. Wiped out the auxilia had I kept my focus. Stay on target. He's fine. And uh, three back with leader. One hit. And then the mediums rolling four dice with the uh, onslaught against the same target. Mm, ouch. Two hits. One eat. Yep. But the leader survives. Hmm. Gotta go through there. Two dice. You lose. Two and three. All right. I will scout. 
though. I'm going to activate the Super Heavy here. I'm going to come down the hill and attack Usagurdus. He's, he's evading, so I got four dice on him. I need a leader symbol. I got him. And they will not advance. Uh, I will, at the end of the turn here, I will spend a battlefield token to move a leader. I will move this one. One, two, three, four to there. And I will draw two. Take this one, discard that, get a token back, and end the turn. I will also scout this unit here. One, two, three. And target your super heavy. And just to be sure, I'll spend it on the battle bonus. Roll four dice. All right. Uh, four back with leader. Uh, uh, just to retreat, you may take or back to where you, from whence you came. I'll take one of them, yes. I'm going to order five light troops. But you only have four. Oh, nope, you got five. I do. Start with this one here on your auxilia with two dice since they did not move. A hit and a retreat. This one now on your light bow. One die because they moved. Nothing. This one has two dice because they did not move. One hit. And these light, just throw spears two away with one die. Getting another hit. And then the big one. Let's go attack here. And I'm going to spend a battlefield token to do three dice. One hit. One retreat, unless you wish to spend a token. Yeah, I'll spend a token. Get you back for two. One hit. All right, leadership any section. Ordering those three units. Auxilia attacking first with two dice. There's a hit. Two back. Done. And then following up with three dice. Boo! And attacking with three dice. Peter hit. But your leader gets away. Wish to advance and battle again? Advance plus one. Ambush! <laughs> it's all I have. Here's three dice. Yeah, just one. No, hit. it's five dice. 
Yes, that is correct. Here's two more. So two hits. Leader check. That's more potent than I remember. Uh, leader check. Nothing. Yikes. Two hits. I hope I didn't I get a token because I didn't use one. Get your token. We'll counterattack that. Do a leadership in a section myself. Let's start with this. It'll be three di always have them. Come on, you More gruesome, nice. gruesome son of a bitch. Come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've always hated you. Three hits. Three hits. Most foul. And leader check. Two. Oh, sorry. Yep. Two dice. Sorry. Leader check. Uh, Fails. Here is three dice plus leader. Two hits to wipe out Rusticus again. On Holst. Rusticus check. Oh, we take him out too. Alright. Hmm. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to do a coordinated attack. When we got units in one section. When you got it, you got it. And we'll target those mediums with my longbows. See if we can't take them out. Two dice. Loose. Crack hole. You are a rotten SOB, sir. Right. Okay. But he lives. He lives. Um... So, he is forced to evade because he lost his entire unit. So, he'll go one, two, and three. All right. Uh, All right. I need you to come closer. <laughs> we'll play a standard card-based Dark in the Sky. Oh, don't That's hide your coming. don't hide your That's face not like that. Coming closer. You know how I roll dice. All right. That's not. I need you to come closer. Yeah. Like Clash of Shields, closer. Is that what you no. mean? No. Right. No. Just just a pair of foot onslaught closers. Oh, okay. All right. Let's start with. Uh, let's see how this one goes first. We'll go. Arrow to arrow, light bow to light bow. So two dice first, loose. Nothing. Second. There's a hit. Now we'll do this one. Same target. Two dice loose. Retreat if you wish. Can't. No word. Oh. Know where that's gonna save me, I don't think. But so I'll go there. Okay. Second volley on them. Loose. Hit and another retreat. Okay. And then up here. Auxilia. Now blocked in. Two dice loose. One. No. We'll lick the fletching. Here we go. Loose! There you go. Do you want to spend a token? I have to. Alright. Oof. Rough. Put on slot. Lose three units there. Slot there. There. 
attacking the gate. Nope. And the auxiliary on the inside. Huzzah! Uh, storm an empty castle. Well done, you. Well, this is a fine how you do. All Let's right. Think. That light cavalry needs to evade. Three dice. Ooh, well evaded. Well, you hit twice. I mean, I don't know. I, it was that great. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I just need to say it, I guess. <laughs> I know. All right. Mm. Sudden death. Sudden death. It's the only thing I can really do here. It doesn't help me that much because you're so far away. But we'll give it a shot. <clears throat> Activate these three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright. Light bow cavalry. Send that token. Well, actually, they're light cavalry, so they won't benefit from them. So they won't benefit from the card right now, but I could still spend a battlefield token, which I will. So I'll do a battle bonus on this one, and it will be uh, three dice now, plus leader. And nothing! All right, swords don't count on light horses. All right, uh, two dice back. Also nothing. Commence the thawing of gym neighbors. All right, uh, two dice here plus leader. Come on. There we go. Leadership for the win. It, you're right, this one's rough. I had a terrible hand of cards. I have center cards up the wazoo, and you, you can't order one unit of your choice if you don't have anything in the center, so basically I'm playing with three cards, two of which were foot onslaughts. I was, I mean, there was two big surprises for me on this one. I was pleasantly surprised that this gambit here on my left worked with the super heavies, even though they were kind of, they were sort of uh, hamstrung by those hills. Two, basically two free banners for you just by rolling swords. That's, I, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I was surprised that the, that little auxilia held out as long as he did. I thought he was just a goner. So, uh, good first game. Very close. Went to sudden death there for, for a moment. So we're going to take our five minute break and we'll be back with round two. And we are back with round two. Fight. So, Peter gets the Assassinids now. Let's see if he can replicate my good fortune, and I will storm those gates! Hmm. Yep. Alright. Well, I have my cards, so... Away with you, good luck! Line Command. You're supported. You're supported. And that does nothing. All right. Hmm. A line command, you say? Well, that seems like a handy card. So I'm going to counter counterattack that card. Oh no, my walls. Yes. So we'll activate all these units. We'll take one big step. That way. Alright, let's see what we get. See if we can't breach these here gates. Light bow first. Uh, two dice. And they breach. Oh no, my gates. Up here. The auxiliary will attempt. Two dice. Hey, no streaks. And now, what else we got here? Got some light bow that will shoot at your mediums. One die. Nothing. 
Should have gone with the light bow. Oh well. Three on the left. Those three. Out the benefit of a leader. Two dice attacking downhill. There's a hit. Yikes. All right. Check that leader. Okay, two dice back up the hill with leader. <laughs> one hit and one retreat. Two more dice. Nothing. And two plus leader. Hit retreat. I will do leadership in a section. Activate both of them. We will have a mounted charge with these super heavies. One, two, three. All right, let's go with this one first. Okay. Three dice. Ooh. And I started a blue streak for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yep. Plus two for the cry of the uh, mounted charge, so six dice plus leader. Okay. We'll advance and battle again. Four dice this time. Two. Filling back with three. One hit. One hit. Okay. Leader check. Nothing. Uh, second wave with Dabber Gizzus. It's going to be six dice with this one plus leader. Let's, let's go against this one. Six dice plus leader. Just two. Should have gone with the other one. Now I'll get the leader bonus. Three dice. Nothing. Okay. That is all. That is all. Leadership any section. Those three. I will go ahead and mount a charge. So we'll do this one first. Heavy Bow Cavalry will only get five dice. Right? Correct. Five dice on Ugardius. All right, so it's going to be four back with leader. A retreat, would you? Okay, super heavy against super heavy. Six dice. Wow! There you go. Man alive. All right. It was a really good attack. I would have taken them both out, which is a yes. good attack. Okay. I'm going to cry havoc here. Cry havoc. Five dice. Let's see if I can not forget all the details tonight for this one. All right, two leaders. Blue and a... So you can move one. But I cannot battle. I'm going to activate... Yeah, let's do that. He is going to move out of the way. He is going to one, two, three. Okay. 
Then we have an attack and an attack and a move. We'll move to there. Alright, everybody else will just attack. So. Attack there. Five dice plus leader. That is a hit, barely. Advance one hex. Alright, five dice once again, plus leader. There we go. Boom! And he will... Uh, that is all for that. They have an attack here. So I'm gonna shoot at your... These guys here with three dice. Nothing. And that is all the movement and attacking. I'm going to spend a token to move a leader. And he's going to come all the way up to here. And that is... Now we each get a token. Wow. Oh, that's Coordinate and attack those three units. Pair of arrows. One hit. Ouch. Your leader's fine. Super heavies attacking super heavies with four dice. Love to see it. So, hit. one hit. Make the leader check first. Leader check succeed. Doesn't succeed. So your leader can ignore one of those banners. And we will do bravery and battle back with four dice plus leader. Getting two. Leader check. He's all right. And four dice to try and finish you off. Whew. What do we do? In, in style. Hmm. Well. Ooh. And there you go. A little icing on the cake. Hmm. Much more costly than your attempts at, at wiping those guys out were. I'll use it because I got it. Move, fire, move. Those four. That one will move. Actually, it'll move there. That's all the moving in the first phase. And we'll do some shooting. Shoot there with two dice. the auxilia spears two dice there's a retreat okay he stays put and then from the other direction two dice through the gates another one so his second movement uh, Stay there. Okay. Oh, I guess this one had a shot too. Um, let's just throw throw one die at your mediums. So one die, nothing. Okay. Three in the center. Those three. Taking a shot. Ooh, hit. 
Need to check. So this will be four dice on your mediums. Mm. A retreat. One hit, one retreat. So far. Let's see. Yep. One hit, one retreat. Spend the bravery token and stand firm. I'll give you back three with leader. Oh, yeah. I give up. All right, two dice leader check. He's fine. Better odds. So I'm going to do a. Mounted charge. My one remaining cavalry. Okay. Start there. So it's three normally, it's four now. Four plus leader. Hit and retreat. Which you can forego. I'll we'll have to spend my last token. Alright, two dice back. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt, man. That hurts me in ways. Alright. Uh, oh, I get to ignore one. I gotta take one. One and two hits. And you get a leader check on that. was poor. Poor. Foot on slot. Those three. Four dice here. I'll One retreat. Take, take them both. Four dice here. Two hits. Two retreats. Two. Now it's time to rally. Five dice. One of each color, and one of your choice. So, rally. Okay. Um, we'll move there. And do that. All right, so we'll improve our odds here. We'll start with this one. So it's going to be two dice plus leader. And then three dice plus leader here. Just one. Leader check. He's fine. One hit for you. Your check. He's fine too. I will also rally. So medium, two greens, which are wasted, and a leader symbol. So Cover. Recover. Or those two units into battle. All right, three dice against your medium bow cavalry. Oh, look at that. I'll call it a comeback.
Well done, sir. Well done. I am, I am clapping for your smiles. Uh, Rusticus falls. Just like that. Well, you have options, of course. Uh, mm. You could, yes, you could advance and battle again if you wish. Just light bows out there. Nowhere for them to go. All right, hit me. Well, I I will use it, uh, but not because it's going to do anything of substance. But yeah, here's two dice. Four dice. Wow, that's one. Two more. <laughs> I love that we're like a Monty Python movie. It's like one, two, five, three, four. All right, uh, two more. All right, so just a one hit. Here's leader check. Oh, that would have been sweet. Three dice. Hit and retreat. Hit and one and two. Okay. Over here. Like a Reagan against the briefest, whatever. Um, four dice. One leader. Here comes three dice. Come on, three dice plus leader. Uh, and I got no tokens, so three dice plus leader. There, there it is. I didn't realize that these seven banner battles could be so frickin' tense. They are, though. Uh, let's just see what happens to Nacho Reagan. Ah, he would have fallen to the postscript in this battle. As I said, getting off those hills and attacking my cavalry, that's what turned this for you. I mean, that's, that's three blocks right there. Yeah, when I saw that you had... Uh, I had gotten those two mediums to retreat. That was... And I was three away within mounted charge distance for the super heavies. That was a... Yeah, that was a no-brainer on that one. And I had the opportunity to activate that side. So, very good. Yes, we, we have a spectator tonight. George is watching us. He says, quite quite a finish. It was indeed. So, our final score, 7-6. I took the first one, and this one is 7-5. So, I finish with 14 banners, and Peter has 11. So, I get three back tonight. Uh, this was quite a... I mean, I, I'm impressed. I mean, I, I like that they give you some freebies there. I mean, they're not absolutely guaranteed, but rolling swords on two dice is not the most difficult thing in the world, but it's something... It's not fool's gold, but it is a focal point. So when everybody just moves that direction, you're right. As in the first game you saw, as the Byzantines had pulled everybody out of the center, as it did with me here, and not having anything in the center of the right, and getting all those center and right cards, that's a big pain in the ass. Yep. <laughs> I'm glad you agree, sir. Uh, well, that puts it end now to our four-battle Lazic War coverage. We're going to move on to the final two of the box set, and that is going to be the Battle of Solichon 586. So we're going to wrap it up in big style. I'm sure those are going to be quite memorable. Peter will be taking the historical information on the next scenario, so I look forward to that, because it's always a treat. Any thoughts about this one before we close it out? It went back and forth. I mean, you... I'm pulling up the stats on it, of course. Let me uh, let me pull up the stats here. And in the first two games, so I'm going to fill in here. Uh, I got seven and Peter at five, so that ends it with eleven. So uh, yes, we each won two battles in this four-game set. So that uh, that's pretty good, I think. It's more balanced than we expected. But there's certainly a lot to each one of these scenarios. We had some that were. Uh, quite bloody as last week was this one was just all over the place but more balanced than i expected hearing nothing we will move <laughs> move right <laughs> along <laughs> all right that's it my voice is going anyway so i'm gonna leave it here peter thank you once again for a fantastic set of games and for those of you watching as you do each and every week we appreciate all the support all the comments all the critiques and all of the corrections keep them coming post right down there in the youtube section below in the comments uh, and that's what it's there for. But otherwise, just engaging with us, either here or on social media, it's all good. So we really appreciate it, and uh, we hope you're as excited as we are 
to finish this first chapter in the Commands and Colors Medieval stuff. So, until next time, Peter, have a great week. Good night.